tighten it. Work? And boom. No boom. way. We got them. They are here. You know these shoes aren't gonna come out and we're not gonna review them and see what's inside of them. These are the second iteration of the Earl shoes, which are electro, adaptive, reactive, lacing, right? It has like a little face, like on, like on the back. Technically, these are called- Oh, there's one on the front too. Yeah, yeah. little faces. Technically, these are the Nike Adapt BB. BB means basketball. So these are ones during the NBA All-Star Game. They were out this last week and they are an actual proper basketball shoe. People were wearing them at the games. They look really cool. And you know that we took apart the last self-lacing shoes that came out and they were pretty interesting. We've seen some pictures put out by Nike that show what the laces might look like with all the material off of them. And we thought, let's get these shoes, test them out, and take them apart, see what's inside of them. What does the motor look like? Yeah, what do I the laces see these look like? Shoes. Okay, let's do it. Let's unbox them. I think you just uh, oh. pull out the sides. Okay. Huh. That's different. That is fancy packaging. Ooh. Whoa! I love the little tongue right here. That's cool. Make it approved. They kind of look like socks. See that? You don't see an actual lace on the outside, which is a different look, but I like the look. Damn Damn approved. On the sides, we've got little plastic that comes off. On the back, you've got that too. Ooh, nice. Inside of it is the weirdest little insert I've ever seen in a shoe. But it does huh. look cool on the inside. With Whoa, the little, little rainbow stuff. Why does it have a seven on it? Do you know? A seven? It's an L for left foot. That's helpful. <laughs> That's really helpful. Yeah, because right and left, like who has time to remember which foot is right and left, right, I don't. Lincoln? Why would you? Oh, 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 it's really tight. Oh, 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 oh. Tight good, tight bad. Ha, ha. I'm gonna lose the blood of my foot if I keep it like that. <laughs> All right, you got both of them in. Yep, right here on this shoe, it's, it hurts. Right on the side. Is it because you have white feet? Do you have white feet? I don't no. think you have white feet. I don't, I don't have white feet. It just hurts. Okay. Yeah. I feel like we should try these out on the basketball court just to see how they grip. Do you have a basketball? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay, let's go. Come across the middle of the paint and it would dribble in the ball and then hurry and cut and turn over just like um, Zion Williams and see if you come out of your shoe. Got see it. if they rip. <laughs> Go! Oh, they don't rip like the, like the, what are they called? Paul George's. They're already better than Paul George's. Your feet don't come out of it. It's good. They hurt when I do that really bad, but. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was crazy just yesterday, at least while we're filming this, Zion Williamson, biggest college basketball game in years, biggest player, he cut, and his whole foot with his sock came out of the shoe. It was insane, I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure it was an isolated incident, Nike is saying that they're investigating it, but they've never heard of that happening before with another Nike, kind of crazy. So Link has been shooting with them and they've been hurting his feet on the outside of both of the pairs. I haven't seen in the few videos that I've watched that that's an issue. So he wants me to try them on and see we both have size 11 now, so if that works, I'll try them on. That's cool. That is cool. That feels really good. No, that feels great. I feel Wait. like I can jump higher. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> Wait, does it not hurt you? No. Try. No, they feel good. They don't hurt me at all. Lincoln says that they hurt him, but. That is so weird. Like, my feet I still mean, hurt. I can see where you're talking about. I can feel a little bit of tightness right there. But it, no, it doesn't really hurt me that bad. So far, I'm a believer. They don't feel super heavy on my feet. And I make it every time I've worn them. I haven't missed since I tried them on. Two shots. I'm going to stop now so that I'm 100% um, shooting percentage while wearing the. Nike Adapt BB, they are a little tight right there. I see what you're talking about in the toe. Yeah, it kind of pinches your foot a little bit. If I were to get these shoes, I don't know that I'd play basketball with them. I'd probably just wear them around because I think they look pretty good with just regular yeah. clothes. Other things that come in the box, there's this plastic bag here that has 
charging cable. So you can charge this pad right here. So it's just USB-C, kind of like an Apple computer or like most cell phones except for Apple's. And then you can just plug it in, get her charged, probably leave it plugged in all the time. And then you come home and you can just like set your shoes on there. That's the charging pad. We might have to see what's inside of the charging pad also. I wonder if you can charge a cell phone off of this. We're keeping this? Hold on, let's see. Dual Look at phone that. charger! Dual phone charger right there. Look I, at that. Did you do triple? It is charging two so at the same time. Okay, so hers is charging. Now hold on, let's do... It's not, still charging. Still, charging, still says charging, yeah. it's charging. Oh, we did four? Three phones. Three. Three phones are charging at once. Check it out. Why are two phones have both pictures of the dog? That's weird. Because the dog's cute. If the shoes don't work out so well for you, then... Uh, you got a wireless phone charger that yeah. can charge a lot of phones. Let's take a look inside of the motor, see what it looks like, how it works. And uh, if we fail on this one, we've got a second one here that we can take apart. Let's hope we can just do one because I want to keep this one. Let's do it. So I started out pretty easily with the outer layer sock and it didn't take much. And we can already see oh, that's cool. some of the lacing inside of Wait, there. Wait, what, what does this say? Oh, is that like... So this is, oh, that's the this tongue. is the tongue. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the tongue is just attached right here. We can actually cut that off right there. All right, there goes the tongue. Now, let's see if it still works here. Let's tighten it up. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's tighten it up some more. You see how tight that is? Feel, put your hand in there. Oh my gosh. It's like concrete. These strings are so incredibly tight. The inside of it where the motor is, there's Velcro underneath it. That's smart. Still opening it up. Oh, Velcro. There's the Velcro on the side that came out. And there's also Velcro on the other side that has a little crisscross action and it exposes the motor down in there. This shoe will still work like this, but we need to see more of it. We yeah. need to be able to see the motor clearly and show you the motor clearly. The back of the heel is off. Now we've got this giant toe that is wide open and exposed, leaving the cable right there. I could probably get a little bit closer, but I really don't want to damage that cable. Started from here with this guy, and now we are here with this guy. That looks so cool. I cut everything off that I thought I could cut off. So we've got it like this with a little uh, open mouth. Oh, it's like a little like crocodile. Almost. Let's see if it'll still work. Will it still tighten? Oh, there she goes. That is cool. I can't believe this still works. Yeah. In 2018, they did surgery on a grape. In 2019, they did surgery on a shoe. Pretty great. Velcro top, Velcro bottom. So here's what it looks like close up. We cut the Velcro off the sides, and then you have a little piece of foam here. How can we get that motor out of here? There's got to be a way. Oh, no. Whoa, you can spin it, see it spinning in there, that's cool. Okay, how do we get into the motor? It does look like right here and right here, there's like two little hinges. And I wonder if I can just, oh. Broke off the tip of the knife. I've scraped off this area, this foam that was on top of here, and it doesn't look like it's anything super, super critical as far as the exterior of it goes. Yeah, just foam. Ah! <laughs> Remember, we cut stuff open and take stuff apart so you don't have to. Yeah. Don't try this at home, taking apart your own shoes. There is still a battery in here that is charged that if we punctured it the wrong way, it could catch on fire. We are trained. We are not trained professionals. Whoa! Whoa! Okay! That's so cool! Ah. Oh, that's so cool. This is the cover over the little circular part where the little ropes spin. We are going to push the button and watch this spin. Watch this tighten. Oh shoot. The buttons are no longer on the side anymore because the buttons are really attached to this. No way! Right there. So these two buttons right here are the only two things that make it go. So we need to, I don't know if it'll work with fingers. Ah! I feel like we should be able to take this out of the shoe and have it still function. Oh. <gasps> it just fell out. It is totally out right now. Check it out. 
You can see the motor turning. When you push the button on the side, it turns that motor and should tighten up or loosen. That's so cool. That box. Well, how do we charge it? Can we charge it? That is a good question. Here's our little box. Does it charge? I can't see. Oh! I see some light. No. Yeah, I that's the orange. Light. That's the orange stuff. It charges. This is pretty much the shoe right here. Like, this is what you need. This is how it tightens by itself. Is that little wire in this box? That's it. Okay, so if you have this problem where it comes undone, all you really need to do is wrap it back around there. Does that tighten work? it? Work. And boom. No way. We you actually like fixed it. You know. That's pretty cool. It's all back and you can put it back into place, charge it, wireless charging. One of the coolest Nike basketball shoes that I've seen. I oh, think yeah. they're very cool. Yeah, I love them. It's I just hope that, that that one little pressure point, that was the only thing that I'm like, if that wasn't there, I want to use these shoes for basketball. Yeah, like right now. and not every shoe fits every person. That's something specific to yeah. Lincoln. But the technology is cool. This is not very heavy. It's super light. Let us know what you think. Would you buy these for $350? $350? $350. Would you wear them in basketball? What are your thoughts? Or do you like being able to just tie your shoelace and save 150 bucks, $200? <laughs> that sounds so lazy, you know? Yeah, who wants to tie their own shoes? It is cool. For the cool factor, yeah. the tech factor, coolest tech we've seen inside of shoes. I hope they work, I hope people start to use them, and I hope they don't blow out like Zion's shoe did. Okay, so this box, I really wanna know how it works inside. I'm charging it while it's just sitting here. It still charges, so cool. So uh, I've decided I'm going to send this to our friend Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. Um, I think he's going to take it apart for an Instagram video. So follow us on Instagram. We're going to take this to our friend Zach from Jerry Rig Everything and see if he can carefully take apart this part of the box. Stay tuned for more. Follow us on Instagram and uh, we'll show you. Arr.